when you talk about the impeachment hoax, it's a hoax because the letter was perfect. What wasn't perfect is, and all you have to do is take a look at the letter, which is transcribed. They transcribed what happened on a very good phone conversation. A per I call it a perfect conversation because it was totally appropriate, very good, and everybody's saying it. Anybody that reads that letter, which is basically what happened on that conversation with the president of Ukraine. It was in the history of our country. Uh, today we have almost 160 million people working. The president of Ukraine said he didn't even know what anybody was talking about. It was a very fine conversation. Uh, the foreign minister said there was absolutely no pressure. The president said the same thing. The Democrats are crazed. They're lunatics. In the meantime, we have the greatest economy ever. The Democrats are crazed. And they're lunatics. In the meantime, we have the greatest... So the impeachment thing is a hoax. Now, whether or not they try pulling it off, uh, it would be a disgrace. I, I think it would be. You can't impeach a president who did nothing wrong. You can't impeach a president that has the greatest economy in the history of our nation. You can't impeach a president that has unemployment numbers historic. Never have so many people been working, both employment and unemployment, who's rebuilt our military, who's taken care of our vets. I said purposely. So we have to find out why did the whistle blow on that phone call? Well, all they have to do is read the transcript. Now, the gentleman that came in yesterday, Morrison, uh, he was terrific. He was supposed to be their primary witness. He was terrific. And he said he didn't see anything wrong with it. And by the way, I have a lot of never Trumpers that have been in different positions for a long time. Employment numbers, historic. Never have so many people been working. Both Don't forget, I beat the Bush dynasty. I beat the Clinton dynasty. And I beat Obama and all of his people. And I come to Washington and a lot of thousands of these people, tens of thousands are working. Uh, but when you read that transcript, it all goes away because that transcript was totally appropriate. You know, uh, since I became president, they just haven't treated... I think it helps us. Look, my poll numbers are very high. We've raised, as you know, record-setting money. Record. Uh, numbers that people... I don't think people have ever seen it before. That's a poll. Uh, on the swing states, when it comes to the impeachment word, it's an ugly word to me, a very ugly word. But when it comes to that word, we're way ahead on the, they don't want to do it. Democrats don't want to do it. And we're going to take over the House because of it. Now, if they want to keep going forward with this charade, uh, but that letter was perfect. That was highly appropriate and perfect. Hello. But we did leave soldiers because we're keeping the oil. I like oil. We no, I, they haven't treated me uh, properly. I pay millions of taxes, millions and millions of dollars in New York, and they've never treated me, you know, uh, since I became president, they just haven't treated, I think, the office with the kind of respect. And I don't mind paying the taxes. New York is a very expensive place to live. But many bad things are happening in New York. And I just put out a statement on New York.